Zoe Yadira Saldana Perigo is an American actress. Known primarily for her work in science fiction film franchises, she has starred in four of the highest-grossing films of all time. Films she has appeared in have grossed more than $15 billion worldwide and, as of 2024, she is the second-highest-grossing film actress. Born, June 19, 1978, age 46 years, Passaic, New Jersey, United States. Spouse, Marco Perigo Saldana, M. 2013. Children, 3, parents, Asalia Nazario, Aridio Saldana. Height, 1.7 meters, siblings, Sisley Saldana, Mariel Saldana Nazario, Nipo. Zoe Saldana was born on June the 19th, 1978 in Passaic, New Jersey, to Asalia Nazario and Aridio S.A.L. Diego. Her father was Dominican and her mother is Puerto Rican. She was raised in Queens, New York. When she was 10 years old, she and her family moved to the Dominican Republic, where they would live for the next seven years. While living there, Zoe discovered a keen interest in performance dance and began her training at the prestigious Icaz Espacio de Danza Dance Academy, where she learned ballet as well as other dance forms. Not only did her training provide an excellent outlet for the enthusiastic and energetic youngster, it would also prove to be a fortunate precursor for the start of her professional acting career. At age 17, Zoe and her family moved back to the United States, where her love for dance followed and an interest in theater performance became stronger. She began performing with the Faces Theater Troupe, which put on plays geared to provide positive messages for teens with themes dealing with issues such as substance abuse and sex. These performances not only gave her valuable experience, but also a source of great pride, knowing that she was making a difference in the lives of young people like herself. While performing with the Faces Troupe and also the New York Youth Theater, Zoe was recruited for a talent agency, and her dance training years before coupled with her acting experience greatly helped her land her first big screen role as Ava Rodriguez, the talented and headstrong ballet dancer in the film center stage, 2000. Since her professional career began several years ago, Zoe's talent and determination have allowed her to be involved in blockbuster films and act with major actors, actresses and industry insiders at a pace that very few young professionals have experienced. Family Spouse Marco Pergo, June 2013, Present, Three Children Children Sai Aridio Pergo Saldana Boiesio Pergo Saldana Zen Pergo Saldana Parents Asalia Nazario Aridio Essa El Dieta Relatives Chisli Essa El Dieta Sibling Mariel Essa El Dieta Sibling Nipo Essa El Dieta Half Sibling Trademarks Often plays strong Dominant heroines. Trivia had done an intense non-stop six-month preparation for Avatar, 2009, including martial arts, archery and horseback riding. To prepare for her role as Nyota Ewer in Star Trek, 2009, she met with Nichelle Nichols, who played the same character on the original series. She had not seen the original series before she was cast in J.J. Abrams' remake. Likes to play strong female characters and said in an interview with the Danish film site that she was really looking forward to evolving her character Nyota Ewer into a stronger, kick-ass lady in future Star Trek 2009 sequels. Revealed on Jimmy Kimmel Live 2003 that she is often mistaken for Thandio Newton. Even her own mother once mistook the two of them. She had a smaller role in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl 2003, and was set to star in the sequels, but never did. When filming the final scene of Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, 2006, the cast were told Anne, old friend, would return and the actors were led to believe that Saldana would be the one coming back. However, it was Jeffrey Rush. The actors were misinformed in order to get real authenticity in their faces. Zoe never did reprise her role. Her father was Dominican and her mother is Puerto Rican. In June 2013, she married her boyfriend of three months Marco Pergo. They married in a secret wedding ceremony in London, and he decided to take her surname upon marriage has three sons with her husband Marco Pergo, twin Sai Aridio Pergo Saldana, and Boiesio Pergo Saldana, b. 11, 27, 14 in Los Angeles. They are named after artist Sai Twombly and singer David Bowie and Zen Pergo Saldana, b. 12, 12, 16. While filming The Words, 2012, she began a relationship with co-star Bradley Cooper, which ended in January 2013. She also starred with him, in Guardians of the Galaxy, 2014, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, 
2017, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, 2023, Avengers, Infinity War, 2018, and Avengers, and Jane, 2019, returned to work seven months after giving birth to her twin Sai and Bowie to begin filming Star Trek Beyond, 2016, also returned to work two months after giving birth to her son Zen to begin filming Avengers, Infinity War, 2018, in Steven Spielberg's The Terminal, 2004, her character, Dolores Torres, is revealed to be a huge fan of Star Trek. Saldana went on to be cast as Nyota Uura in Star Trek, 2009, produced and directed by J.J. Abrams, is a supporter of Finca International, a non-profit microfinance organization, sang with Diego Luna on the song, No Matter Where You Are, for the soundtrack of The Book of Life, 2014. She began her dance training at Icaz Espacio de Danza Academy, but describes ballet as her passion. She gave up ballet because she did not have the feet and had too much pride and ambition to just be in the corps de ballet. Admires Whoopi Goldberg and Angelina Jolie was eight months pregnant with her son Zen when she completed filming I Kill Giants, 2017. Her favorite teen movie growing up was Some Kind of Wonderful, 1987. Saldana and her Star Trek, 2009. Co-star Rachel Nichols both went on to work with Stephen Lang, Saldana, with Lang in Avatar, 2009, Nichols, with Lang in Conan the Barbarian, 2011. She was engaged to actor Keith Britton from June 2010 until they ended their relationship in November 2011 after 11 years. Saldana also co-founded the website My Fashion Database with Britton, and they are business partners in the website. In September 2020, Saldana, along with Elizabeth Banks, Rory Omley, Amy Schumer and Amber Heard used her social media presence to participate in the Voter Writers Pound It Check Challenge to help spread the word about voter ID requirements for the 2020 U.S. presidential election. She was included in FHM Magazine's list of 100 Sexiest Women in the World in 2010, Pound 24, and 2011, Pound 91, Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 Women in 2008, Pound 42, 2009, Pound 29, 2010, Pound 3, 2011, Pound 37, 2012, Pound 45, 2013, Pound 38, 2014, Pound 29, 2016, Pound 100, 2019, Pound 100, and 2023, Pound 100, and People Magazine's Annual 100, Most Beautiful People in the World, Beauty at Every Age section, for age 28. 2007. In 2021, Zoe publicly reclaimed the original and correct spelling of her second name, S.A.L. Dieta. She explained that before appearing in her first movie center stage, 2000, her manager had advised to change her second name. Her miniseries Maya and the Three, 2021, marks the first time Zoe's name is credited as Zoe S.A.L. Dieta. In July 2016, during an interview with Netta Porter's The Edit magazine, she revealed that she has Hashimoto's thyroiditis, an autoimmune disease, along with his mother and sisters. To combat this disease, Saldana said she and her husband adhere to a gluten-free and dairy-free diet. In 2017, she founded Bisa, a digital media platform designed to combat the lack of diversity in mainstream media, with an interest on providing and promoting positive stories within the Latino community. She also serves as chief executive officer and editor-in-chief of the platform. She is the first, and to date, the only, actress in history to star in four films that made more than $2 billion at the box office, Avatar, 2009, Avengers, Infinity War, 2018, Avengers, and Jane, 2019, and Avatar, The Way of Water, 2022. She was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6920 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on May 3, 2018. James Cameron and longtime friend Mila Kunis were guest speakers at the ceremony. Says she's a sci-fi geek, who just happens to dress nice. Her films have grossed more than $15 million worldwide. Currently resides in New York City and Los Angeles, California. Speaks English and Spanish fluently. Quotes, when I go to the D or the press in Santo Domingo, always asks, QT considers, Dominicana o Americana. What do you consider yourself? Dominican or American, I don't understand it, and it's the same people asking the same question, so I say, time and time again, yo soy una mur nigger, I am a black woman, they go, oh, no, tu eres t r i g u e i t a, oh no, 
You are dark skinned. I'm like, no, let's get it straight. You soy una mira neger. I am a black woman. I am actually, I'm very proud to say I am a geek, but I'm kind of a cool geek. I grew up in a very sci-fi home, so I've seen a lot of sci-fi movies. From Dune, 1984, to Alien, 1979, 2001, A Space Odyssey, 1968, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, 1982, Asterisk Batteries Not Included, 1987. All these films I go crazy for, but never. Star Trek. I tend to be very picky, so I look for the perfect man. So if Spock and Kirk can mix, they would become my perfect man. That's the kind of guy I'd go for. I don't only go for muscles, I don't only go for brains. You just need to have a little bit of a bad boy, and a geek and then you've got the perfect guy. On auditioning for Avatar, 2009, I was still living in New York at the time, and I heard that James Cameron was getting ready to shoot a movie. At first, I thought it was going to be that Japanese franchise that he owns, I read for that and it disappeared. Then, like a month later, they want to put me back on tape the script excerpts used for auditions were about this girl from a tribe in the jungle and I was like, this is weird. But I put myself on tape again and, a month later, round July 2006, they called me and told me that in a week, I was going to Ella to meet James Cameron. I remember being very nervous but he was just such a polite and approachable person. It felt like a meeting where we were getting to know each other, as opposed to an audition, where I have to put my act on. On the current landscape of quality roles for actresses, they're out there, people just aren't investing in them. We can sit here forever discussing it, because it has a chicken versus the egg quality. Bottom line, producers are business people. Hollywood is a money-making machine. At the end of the day, they have to produce numbers that will help them keep their jobs and companies alive. But we as consumers have a lot more power than we think. Women need to demand better roles and get audiences to see their films. Because if a film doesn't make $150 million, producers and studios aren't going to bankroll a similar film next time. If there were more filmmakers that were female, trust me, it would be all about women. On James Cameron creating strong female characters, I don't know if it's something that he's been consciously aware of, to be honest. What do know is that he's been impacted by interesting women all his life because you can tell he's in tune with his feminine side. I've learned this about men who write good roles for women. There's a very beautiful sentimentality to them. Their exteriors are sugar-coated with this manly presence, but deep on the inside, there's also this fragility. During the shortness of my career, I've managed to work with Steven Spielberg, J.J. Abrams, and now Jim, all directors who are known for having strong female protagonists. They don't feel diminished by it as men, they can tap into the complexities of how women really are. I will say is that my avatar, 2009, character, Neytiri, has been the most challenging of my entire career, physically, mentally and spiritually. It's the first time I played a non-human, I had to learn a different language, and it was hard to part with her at the end. No matter how intense other characters have been, I've only been in their skins for at most for months, never a year and a half. I love sex. I love skin. I don't believe the body is something to hide. I think in American society, we're messing up our kids by taking away the education on, and awareness of, our sexuality, and replacing it with violence, guns and video games, and we're breeding little criminals. On her dislike of making pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003, I didn't like the experience of working on pirates and I feel that it is my job to be completely honest. To me, that's what a Hollywood movie felt like. If that's what I have to witness, and have to go through, to do a Hollywood movie, I'd rather do something else. It was just too massive. You really felt the immensity of it. Just not my taste. On expanding her career to become a film director, it is more satisfying. You are more of a participant in the conception. I like having control. I think I have the capability. I am a storyteller and an artist and I love what I do. So I want to be part of it more and not just show up and say my lines. When you are shooting a film like Blood Ties, 2013, when the budget is not as big and you are shooting in a city like New York, which is a very expensive city, all the budget goes into the movie and you just make compromises. You are happy to do so because you are collaborating with amazing people. It is a good day at the office. The office might be smaller, but it is good. It doesn't matter how much backlash I will get for it. I will honor and respect my black community because that's who I am. Behind the scenes, the actors are the ones with the least power. You're told what to do, what to wear, where to stand. Your creative inputs are ignored. Salaries. Avatar. The Way of Water. 2022. 
$8 million. Avengers Endgame 2019 $11 million. Guardians of the Galaxy 2014 $100,000. Avatar 2009 $4 million. Thank <laughs> you.